go. I told Ida that you were after her and she better run while she had the chance. She bite? Yes, she was terrified. What about the police cars? I decoyed them so she could get away. So we're all set? We're all set if you protect her. I, I just want to follow Ida to whoever paid her to frame Brenda and Jason. AJ. That's my first bet. And I got Jason in a position to get proof. Yes. Courtney, stay out of it. Jason is being charged because AJ paid off that eyewitness. I mean, Carly, I have to do something. Okay, you know what, Courtney? I have been there. I have done. And you know what? I've learned to regret it. Sonny and Jason are not going to let Scotty railroad them. I'm sure they have a plan in place, and you need to do the smart thing. Just leave this one alone. Carly, AJ is doing this to get back at me. I mean, and there has to be some way oh, that I can to me. fix listen it. To me. Right? Jason is out on bail. And you don't want to do anything that's going to compromise that. Just don't blame yourself. Because this has nothing to do with you. This entire mess is caused by one person. It's Brenda. Okay, let's stop for tonight. Because if I see one more bad location for my new club, I swear I'm going to sink into a deep, dark depression. You know, that old abandoned warehouse on River Street had some possibilities. There's a rec room. Our garage. We could renovate. Uh, you know, we'd have to end up tearing that whole thing down. You know, the only thing that even interests me at all right now is, is the, it's the basement and Kelly's. Look, it's just, I don't understand why the blueprints don't match the space that's down there. You know, we should just sledgehammer through the wall and find out what the whole big secret is. Uh, or, or we could buy the old bottling plant on 10th Street. Oh, forget it, okay? I want my club to be unique. I wanted to have something interesting that people want to talk about. Look, you're going to make it unique. Whatever, whatever location you choose, you're going to bring your own individual style to it. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You know, for a minute I um, stopped worrying about Sonny. Maybe you're too distracted to make a decision. Maybe. But, you know, I just don't think I've found the right place yet. You know, you could, uh, could build the club from the ground up. <laughs> yeah, if I had half a million just floating around. Well, come on, look. Extra. Sonny's, right. Sonny's coffee warehouse is almost finished. He'll have, he has plenty of money to afford it. Okay, it's bad enough that Sonny's just giving me this club like it's some piece of jewelry. Just because I want it. I at least want to make a return on his investment, and that means I have to be careful about the startup costs. Will Sonny be able to afford it without using his offshore accounts? I have no idea. You know, I'm sure any money that he invests is going to be clean. I mean, he would never use your club to launder illegal profits. No, he wouldn't. You know, Sonny is an amazing businessman. He... Has he ever considered turning all of his enterprises as legitimate as the coffee trade? It can't happen. Yes, it can. Hello. Well, where'd she go? Damn it, Johnny. You know what? All right, listen. See if you can pick up her trail. What? Yeah, what's up? Johnny called. Now this Ida woman got away from him. Not something your average senior citizen could do. She must have experience with this kind of thing. Yeah, she's probably on her way to the quarter mains right now. You need, you need to get that on film. I got it covered. I'll be ready when Ida shows up. You know, your husband has extensive legitimate holdings. I'm not real comfortable discussing Sonny's business, and the truth is I don't even know that much about it. Well, yeah, I know. That's not surprising. I mean, Sonny would be a fool to involve you in something illegal. What he may not realize is that there are certain strategies that could help him legitimize his entire business. 
Okay. No, don't, don't even go why, there. Why? Why? Why not? Because Sonny has tried to get out of the business before, and he can't. He is too far into it. You know, I, I even tried to force him out, and it was a disaster. He can't get out. Well, that's because he hasn't had somebody to structure the deal and help him transition away from this without repercussions from old associates. Oh, and you can do that. Sonny's a challenge. Yeah. Yes, you know that. I, look, yeah. I see, I see what he could be worth and what I could be worth if I helped manage to to transition him into legitimate holdings and investments. You know, and if, what about you, huh? You, you said that you tried getting Sonny out. Huh? And I'm not making that mistake again. Well, maybe it wasn't a mistake. Carl. Okay, the way I did it, it was a full-blown disaster. Okay, so you like this life. You have a child and you, and you don't ever wonder what it would be like if Sonny were the CEO of a perfectly legal corporation. I know who Sonny is. Okay, I know what he wants and how he lives and I've made peace with that. Okay, and the trade-off is worth it? I grew up in Florida in a trailer park. Okay, my mom was a secretary. I thought my fast track to success was being a physical therapist. I did a lot of things wrong, Rick. I made a lot of mistakes, and then I met Sonny. And he could have been all wrong, and he turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. He's ruthless. I know this. He's controlling, and I certainly wouldn't want to be his enemy. But he loves me. And I love him exactly the way that he is. What if you could have more. What if you could have Sonny and not be afraid? Hey. Hey. How are, uh, things? No change, you know. Where were you? Out saving you money. Well, that's the first. <laughs> So, uh, Rick and I were looking at club locations and came up empty-handed, and he suggested that you build me one. And I very responsibly said no to, to expensive. Good, good, since the uh, warehouse is above budget and uh, behind schedule. Well, I've, I've watched it go up, and that, uh, that extra space you put in for shipping and receiving should increase productivity at least by 30%. You'll be ahead in no time. That was your idea, wasn't it, Sonny? Yeah. Rick's right. Yeah, about what? He thinks you're an amazing businessman. Yeah, indeed you are. You know, I think it's a good idea that you found an investment to go into that will ultimately allow you to get away from the mob once and for all. I don't think I, I, I asked for your opinion. You see, my business is none of your business. Do you understand what I'm saying, Rick? Where do you get off filling my wife's head with this garbage? You know, with all due respect, Mr. Corinthos, I am going to be discussing a certain amount of business with your wife. Now, if I cross some sort of line I wasn't aware of, I am sorry. Okay, I you, meant no you, disrespect. You, you do know that I keep my, my business separate from my family, so what do you do the first time you're alone with my wife? You start talking business. Yes, I'm sorry. It was my mistake. It won't happen again. No, it's not going to happen again. That's for sure. Now, I need you to leave. I need to spend time with Sonny. What do you mean, Sonny? I need to spend time with my wife. Well, that was blunt. Well, he didn't get the message. Well, I think he does now. Do you understand he's, he, he's working you, don't you? For whatever reason, which I don't know, he, he wants me to need him. So he's trying to sell you on some fantasy that his brilliant legal strategy can turn me into a law-abiding citizen. That's not going to happen well, in a what million if he years. Could. What if he could? What if he could? It's, it, he's, it's not going to happen. It's, 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 he's lying. He's only telling you what he thinks you want to hear. Unless, unless maybe you said something. I, maybe I, you brought up that you're trying to get me out of Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? I have learned my lesson. I, I know how you live your life, and I know what you're comfortable with. And I'm never going to try and change that again. What do you want? Well, what do I want? Yeah, if, if, I, if I had my choice? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd want you out of the business. Come on, I want you to live a long, long life. 
Okay, and I hate the fact that you're in danger and you're threatened because of your business and because that you have enemies. I hate that the PCPD is always breathing down your neck. But it's your life. And I accept it because I love you. Come here. Come on. <laughs> I don't have any regrets. No, except for the time I tried to force you into witness protection, I wouldn't change a thing. I know it costs you a lot to be with me. It's worth it. It's just sometimes I think about living some other life. Don't you? Don't you ever think about just walking away? To where? I mean, you know, to the stay with the horses, the three bedrooms in the suburbs. I, life is good. Good. Right here. Yeah, it's good. Right. And I like it. I like the drivers and the money and this place and the fact that Michael will always be taken care of. It costs this life, you know, and I think that you pay more than anyone. Maybe, but you understood that going in. Don't you ever dream about a different life? With you and me and Michael and our families and nobody else. I found that place right here in my heart. I can't go back. I know. I'm not really asking you to. I just... I get scared sometimes when I think about losing you. You're not gonna lose me. Not because of my, my business or my past or anybody else. But, you know, I know things are difficult right now. But Jason's in serious trouble because, because of his connection with me. Oh, Jason's in trouble because he tried to save Brenda. Yeah, but I, I asked Jason to go after Alcazar. Look, I... Hmm. I gotta get everybody out of this mess. I know it's a pain, but I just, I just need you to stand by my side right now. I will. I know this life isn't, isn't good sometimes, but you know, you, you know what? It's all I know. I understand it, and I... I know how it works. I like it. I know that might sound selfish, but... This life got me out of Brooklyn. It's given me more than I could ever imagine. Money, power, respect, you. I work hard for these things. They matter to me. Well, what if you could have money, power, respect outside? No, of but see, you always still, you don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, you can't, it drives me crazy. You just can't let it go. All right? Yeah. You, you, you know, you. You mess things up sometimes, and then you leave things around. Speaking of which, what, what's with the, with the cheese spray in the refrigerator? What the hell does cheese spray have to do with anything? And that cookie dough you bought? Well, I like cookie dough. Yeah, but you're, suppo you're supposed to bake cookie dough, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you make no sense. Do you know this No, about I do know you go, that. Yeah. But you know what? My life used to make sense. It used to make a lot of sense, you know? When I used to come home, everything was where I put it and an order, you know what I'm saying? You want to break out some cookie dough no, now? No, that's then? not what I'm saying. What, saying. what I'm saying is that you... You, you love cookie dough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it drives me crazy, right? But I, but I love you. I love you to death. Okay. Oh. oh, I got it. I'm sorry. Oh, man, this is like a... Every time, huh? Mm -hmm. Hello. Is Jax with her? All right. I'm, um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right there. Brenda? She turned herself in. I got a... Oh, man, I'm sorry. Yeah. You understand, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm hmm You all right? Mm hmm All right. Hey, get over here. I need you before I do something crazy. Just hurry, okay? business here. Where's Brenda? 
It is not your concern. She needs an attorney. Oh, Alexis is on her way. Well, Alexis wants to pin this on me and Jason. You'd love that, wouldn't you? We see, Brenda didn't actually kill anyone. Yeah, you believe that? Why'd you get her away then? Why'd you send Jason after her? Jason surrenders to the police like the law-abiding citizen he is. They brought us in, they processed us, and they released us on bail. Now, Brenda's in custody because you got her out of the country and you made her a fugitive. And you didn't follow through. No, no, you're wrong. Thanks, Johnny. Where have you been? What took you so long? We've got to do here. Yeah, uh... Listen, Carly, uh, I want to apologize if I created any problems between you. You, you haven't. You know, please just hear me out here, okay? Look, I, I know I was pushing a little bit too hard for Sonny to make his business legitimate, and he obviously wants me out of his uh, life. Wh and why life, so can't anyone happen. realize I have a life outside of Sonny? I mean, why is that so difficult to understand? Well, I don't know. I just assumed that maybe if he Well, said don't assume, okay? Didn't they teach you that at Harvard? Okay, I obviously called this one wrong. Look, I need to focus on my life right now because if I don't I am gonna do something crazy and I'm gonna ruin my marriage I need to focus on this club are you interested still yeah definitely good well there's one condition now you need to stay out of Sonny's business it makes him crazy and I don't blame him I need to focus on my life and <sighs> independent of Sonny okay that makes sense well, if you can do that, let's let's get busy. If not, the door's right there. I love the way you just cut right to the chase. I'm serious, Rick. This club is mine. It's not Sonny's. I and I could use your help. Okay. All right. And come here. Take a look at this. What is it? Uh, well, I found this in the city archives. What is it, permit? Yeah, there something? were permits for Kelly's. Whoa. They must be ancient. Yeah, at least 50 years old. There's some major work down there before mm -hmm. it got all sealed up, yeah, huh? No question about it. Wow. Why would anybody wall off a whole, a whole section? I don't get it. Oh, I have no idea. So would you like to go see it? Yes, I would. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah. Just go? Sure. All right. Yeah. Uh, 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 Thank all right. you. Very nice to leave, and I decided to come back. Well, I'm glad you're all right. That's very heartwarming, Corinthos. I didn't kill anybody. No, don't say anything else, brother. Ah, keep talking if it makes you feel better. Jax is getting me a lawyer. I need to take you downstairs for processing. All right. I'll come with you. That's against rules. Tell it to my lawyer. You ordered the hit on Alcazar. Brenda got in your way, and now she's paying for it, just like all the women in your life that get mixed up with you. You're trying to frame an innocent woman to get to me. Doesn't that make you the criminal? You don't think the law applies to you. Well, it doesn't apply to me either. Yeah, you've mentioned that. Well, look who's here, your number one goon. <laughs> Where's Brenda? Oh, well, aren't you the concerned little husband? Okay. The eyewitness never connected with AJ, so there's no proof he paid her off. Well, maybe we guessed wrong and we, you know, she's working for somebody else. Like who? We're just about to find out. Ida, nice to see you. Oh, 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 don't get spooked. He can't hurt you. On our record, I don't like it one bit. Oh, there is no problem. Honey, the sledgehammer is definitely a problem. There is a room behind that wall, Mama. So, so on the blueprints. Isn't that exciting? Maybe the room got bricked up for a very good reason. Yeah, maybe the reason is there's gold behind those walls and we're about to be gazillionaires. And did either one of you ever stop to think that maybe the bricks are holding up the wall? No, not according to this blueprint. 
which happens to be years and years out of date. Oh, look, if anything gets weird, we'll, we'll stop. My whole point is, why start? Maybe there are things on the other side of those bricks that need to be left alone. Um, have you been watching those horror movies with Lucas again? You don't rig up a whole room for no reason. Don't you want to find out what is in there? No. Okay, me. Do just see. Uh, yeah, uh huh. I knew it. I knew but it. I should call a building inspector. Oh, why? No, 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 no. You own the building. Because there has to be a regulation against ripping down a wall. Bobby, it could take months to find that out. Yeah, look, we promise if anything goes wrong, we will um, hire someone to put the bricks and the wall Absolutely. back up there. Okay, go ahead. But if anything starts to shake or shift, stop what you're doing and get out of there. Okay? okay. Thank you, thank you so much. We promise we will. Okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, excuse me. Um, you want to do it? You want to do the honors or shall I? Huh? Um, knock yourself out. Okay. All right. Glad to see you, Mrs. Warren. How does he know my last name? Don't worry, you don't even have to speak to him. Well, I don't mean to upset you. Uh, anything I say, I can say in front of the district attorney. I just, I, I heard you're upset, and I, I, I want to apologize for any misunderstanding. That's, that's Jason Morgan, isn't it? You want to meet him? No. Knock it off, Lurch, or I'll throw you in the cage. You know what, I really don't, I don't I'm, I'm not trying to upset you, but I just hope that you're able to clarify your witness statement. That's what I'm here for. Are you, and we are so glad that you are. You think maybe you're going to tell the truth a little better this time? Or? I told the truth from the start. Oh. Okay. I saw Brenda Barrett push that Alcazar guy off the terrace. And the truth hurts, doesn't it? Not really. It's a nice bracelet you got there. I hope that you held up for some uh, serious money. Don't worry about him. It's hot air. He can't hurt you. Why is he here? Well, because Brenda Barrett just turned herself in. Is she here now? Yeah. Do you think you could pick her out of the lineup? I can try. Well, let's go. She's lying. Absolutely. And whoever paid her off got their money's worth. I was scared enough to run. Something changed her mind. I don't. I don't think it was AJ. Okay. AJ's covering for Sky. What if Sky's not as wrecked as she seems? What if her and Ida are working together, personally? that woman get in that embrace why would she wear it here maybe she wants everybody to see it it's a price tag Ida's testimony is for sale to the highest bidder and all we gotta do is pay her more Jack she picked me out of the lineup it's okay where's my it's lawyer okay. don't worry about it I'm gonna take care of this What are you still doing here? Looks like your uh, witness came through. If that old lady so much as stubs her toe... Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, well, you know, you do, Morgan. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Charging you as an accomplice. Oh, come on. Uh, that's ridiculous. You and your loving little wife killed Alcazar together. Hey. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I'm impressed. Yeah, you see? You lawyers are good for some things after all, right? All right. All right. Oh, you want to go first? Yeah, I always want to go first. Get out of my way. Okay. Hey, come on. Watch your step. All right. Oh, my God. You look radiant tonight. A place where dreams were made. Is everyone having a good time? And hopes were shattered. Stewart relives a sweeping story of romance, forbidden love, and murder. A special General Hospital on New Year's Eve. Hey. Whoa. 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 I'm 
impressed. Yeah, you see. You lawyers are good for some things after all, mm. right? All right. Well, oh, you want to go first? Yeah, I always want to go first. Get out of my way. Okay. Hey, Watch your step. All right. Oh, my God. Wow. I am glad you are seeing this. Otherwise, I would think I am losing no, no, my no, mind. No, no, no. You're right. I see it. It's all there. New Year's Eve, 1926. That's what you're looking at. Hmm. 12.01 a.m. That's when it all stopped. You know about this place? Everything there is to know. That New Year's Eve was opening night and closing night. But for the few hours in between, it was truly glorious. look divine. What do you think of your club? I'm overwhelmed, <laughs> giddy, <laughs> delirious with joy. Does that mean you're happy? <laughs> well, almost as happy as the day I married you. Oh, boy, I was smart. Mm. Everyone told me you stay away from that Marco because he's trouble with capital M. <laughs> Lucky for me, you never listen. <laughs> because I knew your heart. No one's is bigger, more generous, more loving. You've given me everything, Marco. And just when I thought it wasn't possible for a woman to want anything more, you give me this. Don't examine my motives too closely. I'm a selfish man. I'll do just about anything to put that smile back on your face. <laughs> oh, well, you won't be sorry. Because tonight is going to be big. Baffa, once in a lifetime big. <laughs> it's just the beginning. May I have a brand new club's very first dance? Yes, you may. We were young, in love, and so unaware. Nice the night. Finally, we can hear the miserable punk. It's been enough. He's controlled the waterfront way too long. Strutting around like he owns the world. Enjoy your New Year's Eve, big man. Then kiss that pretty wife. Bye bye. We'll have to make a point of expressing our condolences to the widow. Bang, bang, bang! You all day! Beat it, kid! And stop sneaking up on people like that, or you'll be the one who ends up dead! You all set? You bet, boss. We're raring to go. That's what I want to hear. Now, you boys make sure you hit who you're aiming for. Marco dies tonight. Whoa! Where are you going in such a hurry? I have to see my dad right away. Do you have an appointment? No. Well, because your dad's a very important man. He doesn't see anyone without an appointment. He'll see me. I'm his kid. All right. I'm going to let you go. But you have to slow down. You don't want to take a header down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> Am I supposed to? 
Marshall's a guess. Mm-hmm. Clara Bow. <laughs> no. Mary Pickford. No, and it's not Greta Garbo either. Mm. Wait, I think I recognize the voice. It's Violet. <laughs> you look beautiful like always. And you look like you want to rip that suit right off your back. Yeah. Let's tilt. Let me straighten your tongue. Yeah, whoever thought it was a good idea to wear a noose around your neck. Oh, some woman who noticed how good her man looked. Like you. You look dreamy. Mm, okay. <laughs> Let's leave. Right now. What? Let's forget about the club opening. Let's forget about everything and everybody. We'll just hop in the car and, and we'll drive until we get to the Justice of the Peace in Niagara Falls. Wait, you you want to elope now? This minute. We can't. Give me one good reason I'll why not. I'll give you three good reasons why. Marco's your brother, he's my boss, and opening this club is very important to Catherine. We have to be here. Well, maybe Marco will be so involved he won't even notice we're missing. He'll notice. It's not a smart idea to start our married life on his bad side. Okay. But as soon as the clock strikes midnight. Niagara Falls, here we come. <laughs> Hasn't washed. I will, but first I have to give Daddy something. Good job, little man. <laughs> what? You said you'd pay me. What if I don't have the cash? Interest compounds daily. <laughs> That's my boy. Thanks, Dad. Interest compounds daily. What? He's his father's son. I'm about to show you. <laughs> it's an important night for you. I wanted you to have something you can remember at night. Oh, my, Marco. It's stunning. Is it real? Would I give you anything less? <laughs> they're diamond, they're real, <laughs> and they're forever. <laughs> Just like you and me. forever. This was your club. Oh, mine and Marco's. How did you know we were down here? Oh, I live across the street. I guess I couldn't bear to leave it. I saw all the activity and I had to come over. Maybe I shouldn't have. Standing here is a mixed blessing. Everything is so crystal clear. The joy, the exhilaration, the love, the very fun of it. But there's a flip side. The pain is still here. What exactly happened that night? The very thing none of us anticipated. There was such excitement in the air. I remember thinking it probably felt like, like the theater on opening night. Look at this place, can you believe it? It's a long way from where we started. I never thought I'd own a classy joint like this one day. You married a classy lady. That I did. You've been some class actors up there, Joe. You've stuck by me to hell and back. 
No, Marco, if it wasn't for you, I never would have gotten out of that orphanage. I owe you. You give me a job, a life. My loyalty is a fact. Hand me your gun. Why? You don't need to work tonight. We got other people on duty. Enjoy yourself. No, I, I don't like being unarmed. I don't think you understand. This is an order. <laughs> It'll be fine. Hand over the gun. Paul. <clears throat> yes, need something, boss? Yeah, yeah, put this in the safe. Joe's not working tonight. He's not gonna need it. Well, then we're off to an excellent start. College boy. Things will go legit one day. That's what too much schooling will get you. Stupid. <laughs> You're pulling my leg. I'm dead serious. Oh, you and Joe are gonna really do it. You gonna tie the knot tonight? <laughs> We're taking off tonight. The second after the clock strikes midnight. Oh, this is fabulous news. This night just keeps getting better and better. Now, I told Rummy Joe he was a goner the minute he laid eyes on you. Oh, Violet. I'm so happy for you both. <laughs> I know. I only hope Marco feels the same way. You kids go get Hitch. Leave your brother to me. Uh-oh. Hey, Mr. Murphy. You look swell. Yeah, you look pretty good yourself, kid. Leave him alone. Kid just wanted to say hello. Then you walk away. I don't want you speaking with my son. Problem? Back to the kid. He approached me. Well, that's what I intend to do. How many times have I told you not to talk to that horrible man? Nice place. I think I'll stay a while, taking the ambiance. See if I feel at home. Think again, this party is invitation only. Not the way I heard it. That's the way it is. Take your muscle and get out. Fine. Don't want to be social more? Riding high. Aren't you, Marco? Mm, new place. Lots of vigorous building up. Let's not forget the waterfront you stole from me. What's your I point? Do. It's a hard fall down, that's all I'm saying. You gorgeous. Take your hand off me. Sorry. Wasn't handling the merchandise. I just wanted to get your attention to say. You ever get bored with your brother's bodyguard and decide you want a real man? Good evening, fellas. Boys. For the first time that night, I had a bad feeling. But it was fleeting. After all, Murphy was gone without a single glass being broken. And the party was in full swing. We were young, immortal. What could possibly go wrong? We were just about to find out. Here you go. Thank you. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, I'm fine. But I must have scared the wits out of you. How did you happen to find this place? Uh, we've been doing research on the building. Yeah, Rick and I are partners. And sometimes he doesn't work for my husband. Oh, then you're married. Yes, very much. And you? Not yet, but I have hopes. Well, there's nothing like it, giving one your love and admiration. <laughs> and you love your husband every day as though it were the last. I try to. You see, I, I know a little bit about unexpected danger. Yes, I expect you do. No offense, but you seem tired and we would be happy to see you home. Uh, no. I have a story to tell, and for some reason, I want to tell it to you. All right. Well, the opening was a success beyond our wildest dreams. And Marco and I dream big. 
That night, the dreams all came true. Such a turnout, you wouldn't believe it. Senators, congressmen, movie stars, regular people from the neighborhood. With all due modesty, I have to say, not a woman in that room could hold a candle to me. I'm proud of you, baby. <laughs> Look what you did. We did it. I just gave you the means. This place is here because you invented it. Well, I was inspired. Stop trying to give me credit and just take a bow now, will you? <laughs> all right. <laughs> I do believe you're right. <laughs> I never thought that I would ever be in a place like this. I mean, much less as part of a family who owns it. Well, your brother's done well for himself. I'll give him that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a far cry from the days that you was running the numbers. Daddy, you are going to start a fight with Marco and use it as an excuse to get drunk, are you? Because I swear, Daddy, I will die right here for embarrassment. Oh, darling, darling. Darling, don't worry. I won't ruin things. Can I steal your daughter? For this dance for me? Huh. As long as, uh, as long as you bring her back. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they were like something out of a book, or the moving pictures. Violet and Joe's love was so real, you could almost walk up and touch it. Got the pack and gas and ready to go. It's your last chance if you want to get out of this. What's bothering you? What is it? Not us. It's Marco. I was wondering if maybe we should tell him that we're getting married to He's got this. enough on his plate. We'll tell him whatever he wants. He'll be happy for us, won't he? Sure he will. Boy, I, I read a piece in the Herald the other day that uh, those things can kill you. So can the next bus driving by. Always with the smart remarks. What happened to your mercy? Not this again. You were always a, a good boy. You were honest. And you were self-respecting. And you, you were God-fearing. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago, Father. Oh, but it's never too late to change your path in life. When are you going to realize it's too late to save this old soul, huh? I can always try. Say, why don't, why don't you come to New Year's Mass with me? Uh, it's a great night. We, we can walk together, huh? Sorry. Got plans of my own this evening. Starting with all the gin I can drink and all the women I can handle. Well, I'll, uh, I'll pray for you, son. is my wife. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> is 
this hussy, and why is she hanging all over your arm? You're drunk! Who are you calling a hussy? And if you were giving poor Lenny here what he needed at home, he wouldn't have to step out with me. We're going home! Everybody free! This is a raid, nobody move! What do you think you're doing barging into my club? Mayor like Tom, welcome to our new establishment. Listen, you stooge, I'm not here to play patty cakes. This is a raid. I'm rounding everybody up and they're going downtown. Well, there must be some kind of misunderstanding. Well, that's always a possibility. Why don't we clear it up? Keep your britches on, boys. I'm all ears. For starters, here's a nice contribution to your re-election campaign. There's a new car in it if you and your friends live quietly. You make it a Packard? Just a misunderstanding. Everybody enjoy your New Year's. Happy New Year, Mayor. Right back at you. All right, let's get out of here. Nice work. Just in the nick of time. New Year's was my favorite holiday. I never dreamed a year could begin with such unspeakable tragedy. Man, would you help me up? Sure. Everything I've ever wanted, right now. Poor Poopsie. If only I'd known how miserable you've been, I wouldn't have given you such a hard time. Well, I don't like the wine. It's not manly. Did you mean what you said before? About getting a divorce? You betcha. <laughs> From now on, no more sneaking around. Mm. You're officially my girl. <laughs> oh, Lenny. <laughs> Fancy words. Do you remember how long it took me to tell you how much I love you? Well, it was worth the wait. You changed everything for me from that. I love you so much. I love you too. They look so happy, don't they? Like newlyweds? You know? Nothing is by me. You're not upset? Do I look upset? <laughs> no, and I'm shocked. I know it took me a long time to accept my baby sister with Joe. I wanted to be safe. But Joe's the best friend I ever had. They're in love and I'm happy. <laughs>
right here on the dance floor we all died a little bit that night <laughs> Joe was the heart of our little family I don't think we realized it until he was gone all the life in our mark though like it turned to stone violet hurt the most after show was gone that girl was never the same it only took a few weeks for her to break she never recovered When my Marco slipped away, his sister, God, best friend, God, he became consumed by the losses. Every day he, he went further and further into his own pain and need for revenge. Marco got his revenge. didn't even try to get away. Marco didn't care. He just stood there and waited for the cops to take him. Marco got a life sentence, refused visitors. He died in prison. No one will ever convince me. He didn't die of a broken heart. beautiful little boy was devastated. I knew if I kept him with me, he'd fall into his father's life. So I did what was best for him. Father McBride was very helpful. He made all the arrangements. I told my baby he had to go with father. Actually, let me hug him. Father McBride assured me my little boy was going to a good family that he'd be well taken care of. I never saw my son again. As for the club, that was the end of it. Opening night was closing night. There was nothing left. New Year 
Year's Eve. Our lives stopped, just like that clock on the wall. But I had lived more in those hours before midnight than I ever have since. That's quite a story. <laughs> thank you for sharing it. Well, thank you for listening to an old woman ramble. Uh, there's one more thing. I'd like you to have this. That, this is your, your gift from Marco. Yes. I'm flattered, but I, I don't understand why you want to give it to me. Uh, maybe it's because you remind me of my other self. I can't take it with me. It was a gift of love. And I'd like someone who understands to have it. It would please me very much if you would take it. Um, I, I don't know what to say. I'll treasure it. Always. Uh, and now, young man, would you do me the honor of escorting me home? I'm tired, and I'd like to go home. It'd be my pleasure. Uh, uh, I will never forget you and what happened here. to see you. Oh. That's all. Me too. Come here. It's okay. Have I told you lately how much I love you and that you are my best friend? Yeah, yeah. You tell me all the time. How'd you find this place? Um, <laughs> I checked some blueprints. Knocked down the wall. <laughs> what do you think? There was an old speakeasy back in the 20s. You thinking of putting your new club here? Just answer me a question, both of you. Do you believe in fate? In destiny? I think you, you make your own. Yeah, I'd have to agree with, with that, yeah. I was hoping you'd say that. You know what? We we gotta we gotta get much. We told him we could stay up till midnight so we could all watch the uh, fireworks, fireworks again. <laughs> Good. So. so all of us, right? right. You're coming yeah. too. I'm, yeah. I'm Good. Fine. All right, let's go. My kids waiting. Let's go. <laughs>
Mesa General Hospital. Hey. What are you doing? I'm rethinking my plan to use Kelly's basement for my club. Well, you were all excited about the old speakeasy. What's wrong? I just don't think it was a good idea to break down that wall. You know, it's, um, something very dark about that place and sad, like something very bad happened there. Well, so, since when did you get superstitious? I'm not. I just don't like the idea of the past repeating itself. Yeah. Cardi, it's your club. Build it wherever you want. I, I gotta, I gotta go. Where? Where are you going? I gotta talk to Jason about the arena. You know Jason would do anything for you. Yeah. Right? That he would die for you. He's ready to sacrifice himself and, and take the blame for Brenda and, and everything that's I going on. I wouldn't ask. I'll do whatever I can to get Jason out. See ya. Walk out of the police station, hold hands. And Look, we don't have to explain ourselves to okay, you. Okay, Brenda is on trial for murder. Adultery doesn't look good to the jury. Especially you guys walking around holding hands with a married man, if you know what I'm saying. Scott yeah. and I divorced. Brenda and Jason okay, aren't. Okay, hold on. Jason and I left the police station together, and we planned on meeting back here. So, you're right. We're not going to be seen in public anymore until the trial's over. Why don't we discuss it after the arraignment? All right, I'll see you later. Get dressed. I know you got a change. Just give me a second. Just wanted to eat. You're in serious trouble. Right? Yeah. So is Jason. And because he tried to save you, you owe him? I know. Okay, the only... Your freedom depends on how you guys work this... Marriage thing. Don't worry, we're gonna do all that. Okay, stuff. that's just it's not a good start. As a matter of fact, do you have any idea where Jason is? No. Hey. hey. I'm alone. You, you didn't see Sonny downstairs, did you? No. No, it's, it's not a problem. Come, come on. In. Is there um, is there something wrong? Well, not that Sonny would admit it, but, um, he's worried that something's going to go wrong. Looks like you're a little concerned as well. I just... I keep thinking about that story that Catherine told us. How Marco, he lost everything when he lost his best friend. Rick, that's how Sonny would be if he lost Jason. They're more brothers than they are partners. Sonny needs Jason. So do I. Well, it's obvious the two of you are very close. He's my best friend. Jason holds it all together for me and for Sonny. And, you know, when he's gone, our lives, they just implode. He's part of us. If it's any consolation, I understand that the state's case against Brenda is much stronger than that against Jason's. So? They're trying them together. Well, that's because they're husband and wife. But well, that's a good thing, right? That way they can't be compelled to testify against one well, another. It's not necessarily to Jason's advantage. Look, if Jason were to testify against Brenda, there is a chance that he could walk away from this without a scratch. Brenda's upstairs. She showed up with Jax. Now, let me tell you something. Jax does not get the concept of discretion. If he keeps parading Brenda around, she's going to look guilty. Now, she does whatever he wants. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You're going to have to keep him away from her. I don't know how you're going to do it, I tried, but you I tried to tell her a hundred times that woman doesn't listen to me. Well, you got to make her listen. You're on the line here. I don't know. You know, I don't know what's happening. I asked you to go after Alcazar. You risked your life to get her away from him. 
And now you're stuck in this marriage. I look. So, I, 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 hey, I might, I might not like her, but I saw her at the crime scene. I couldn't just leave her there. Okay, we gotta figure out how we're gonna get out of this. We gotta find out who paid that eyewitness. I could have, I could have sworn it was AJ. I had to try to show up, and I scared her off. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Well, AJ was at the quarter mains. Right. Okay, and I, I was out. I was out on the terrace ready to take pictures of him if Ida showed up and then Courtney showed up trying to get him to back off. Courtney went after that pig for you, I man, brother. Ida, I got her out of there. Well, Cor Jake Courtney should anything. not... Courtney should not be anywhere near this. She's my sister. She's clean. She's innocent. She went through a lot of pain because of AJ. She's not going to hurt like that again, Jason. My business, my enemies. That will never touch my sister. Will you hear Rick out? He is a lawyer. And what he knows may help Jason. That's what you want, isn't it? What's your idea? Well, all of the evidence clearly points to Brenda as Alcazar's killer. Jason's an accessory after the fact at best. He could plead out in exchange for his testimony against Brenda. Now, any good attorney worth his salt can go to the DA, cut a deal, and get the murder charge against Jason dropped. He'll walk with probation on a lesser offense. So th that's your solution? Encourage Jason to testify against his own wife and send her to prison? They're represented by two totally separate attorneys, are they not? Brenda's got Alexis Davis. She's the best there is. Mm -hmm. So why isn't she representing Jason? Because she hates him. She thinks, that, you know, she blames him for her sister's death. Well, Alex so there's no way she's going to represent, uh, represent him, too. Alexis's sole professional interest is going to be the welfare of her client. Now, if you say she's such a great attorney, she's going to turn that case against Jason unless Jason's attorney can find a way to protect him. Well, I hired Thomas Cassidy. Well, that's fine. I'm sure he'll tell you the very same thing, sir. Yeah. But Jason could help himself and possibly even help Brenda if he testifies against her. And how, how would that work? <clears throat> All right. If Jason and Brenda are no longer co-defendants, the DA's conspiracy charge falls apart. But Brenda can, Brenda can plead temporary insanity. She can plead self-defense. Look, the battered woman's defense has worked very effectively. Enough. I don't want to know what cases in this jury. Brenda and Jason will be tried together, and they will be found not guilty. End of story. All rise. <laughs> New York versus Brenda Barrett Morgan and Jason Morgan et al. Will counsel please note their appearance for the record? Your Honor, Thomas Cassidy for the defendant Jason Morgan. Alexis Davis representing Brenda Barrett Morgan. Scott Baldwin for the state. Very well, this is an arraignment and as such we'll keep the proceedings brief. Will the defendants please rise? Brenda Baird Morgan and Jason Morgan, you stand accused of murder in the first degree and the death of Luis Alcazar. Brenda Baird Morgan, how do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Jason Morgan, how do you plead, sir? Your Honor, at this moment, uh, Mr. Morgan would request a stay in these proceedings in order to confer with the district attorney with an eye on negotiating a plea bargain in exchange for his testimony against his wife. What? What the, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, Your Honor, may I have a moment to confer with no, my no, client? No, no, we don't need a moment. Your Honor, this man doesn't speak for me. Sure he does, Your Honor. Mr. Cassidy is Mr. Morgan's attorney on record. Your Honor, Mr. Cassidy is fired. Would you like me to intervene? I might be able to solve it. Do it. Your Honor, my name is Rick Lansing. I'm an attorney. May I approach? Your Honor, this is a delay tactic. This is an arraignment. Shall we get on with it? All I need, Mr. Baldwin, is a plea from the defendant. With all due respect, Your Honor, an arraignment is no less vital or substantial than any other part of the criminal proceeding. And to deny Mr. Morgan here due process at this time would be reversible error. Now, you know it and I know it. 
Mr. Morgan here deserves representation, and I am substituting in as counsel of record. My client enters a plea of not guilty. Mr. Morgan, is that your desire to substitute this gentleman in as your attorney? Now listen, I have been retained to get you out of this, and I've been well compensated for it. Now there's absolutely no evidence against you. It all points squarely to Miss Barrett. So just let me do my job. Your Honor, um, this, this man Rick Lansing is my attorney. I plead not guilty. I'm innocent, so is my wife. Duly entered pleas of not guilty are bound over for trial on the date previously set forth. This court is now in recess. All rise. I think you can get Jason acquitted. Well, I'd be a fool to make any kind of guarantees, right? You're confident, yes. Because Jason's like a brother to me. If he goes away, so do you. No, I, I just, I wish I would have known or you would have warned me that that Rick was going to be there and now this guy's my new attorney. I didn't know. I didn't know until you showed up at the arena. At least, hey, he, he understands that he's, you guys aren't going to turn against each other, you and Brenda. Yeah, no, look, I know, but who, who is this guy? Why was he even there? Uh, Rick shows up everywhere, uninvited. I mean, he's smooth. The more this guy tries to help us, the less I trust him. You don't have to trust him. Whatever Rick has to offer, it doesn't mean we become his best friend. His resume checks out. He, th he thinks on his feet. And unfortunately, at the moment, it's, it's, it's all we got. All right, look, look, I'll, ha I'll handle this however you want me to handle it. Okay, I'll let Rick be my lawyer, but I'm just telling you, something's off. We will guy. proceed with caution. Uh, got your message. Rick, come on in. What can I do for you? I want you to interview Ida Warren. As Jason's attorney, you are now entitled. I want you to appeal to her conscience, convince her to retract her statement, and get her to say she never saw Brenda on Alcazar's balcony. Well, it might take some doing, but I'm not done talking. Just. As a token of my appreciation, I want you to uh, give this briefcase to her. There's two million dollars in there. I want you to give Ida my best wishes for a happy future. You got some kind of problem with what I'm saying? None at all. After all, it is my duty as a lawyer to help troubled citizens ease their conscience. Well, well. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Why so cold all of a sudden? I actually thought we had something going the other day until Jason barged in. Yeah, well, our moment. You're lucky that Jason came when he did because I was about to throw up, AJ. Because that's what you do. You make me physically ill. I suggest you lose the high and mighty act. It doesn't sit. Yeah, and I sweetheart. suggest you shut your lying mouth. You think you have the upper hand here? You think that Jason and Sonny don't know that you bribed that Ida woman to, to implicate Jason in Brenda and Alcazar's murder? Up with this stuff. I didn't bribe okay, anybody. It's time for you to leave because your business All is now I did, wanted All I did here. was place Jason behind the wheel of Alcazar's limo the night he was killed because it's true. Now, who's Ida? Oh, oh that's the woman who saw Brenda kill Alcazar, yeah, right? Stop with the who me act, AJ. I've seen it too many times. And when this Ida woman finally decides to tell the truth, the cops aren't going to buy it either. Look who's preaching. You wouldn't know the truth if it slapped you in the face. Let me tell you how it went down. You see, Brenda charges Alcazar with a knife, forcing him out on the balcony where Jason finishes the job. Makes sense. Murder's all in the day's work for Jason. Brenda, she's probably a little new at it. That is not what happened. Oh, and you know this how? Because Jason told you? Again, proving my point, you will never accept the facts, Courtney, because you're programmed like this one and Brenda. And poor.
poor Sonny's first dead wife. Okay, AJ, leave now. Goodbye. You are still hot when you're mad, you know that? <sighs> we'll dream on. Okay. Take it from someone who knows you just blew it royally. You need to sit down and listen to the voice of experience. I don't want to hear that you have to work and you can't take a break because you need to hear this. Okay. This is like a train wreck. So where one car goes off the track and the other cars follow and there's now this big pile up and lives have changed forever. <sighs> this all started, I set it in motion when I overheard Sonny and Jason talking about the AJ Ida thing. Then you show up a couple minutes later furious with AJ and two blurts later, AJ now has the upper hand and Sonny and Jason have lost their element of surprise. God, I'm sorry. I just, I, I didn't think it through. I know. And you need to. Courtney, I have been where you are. I understand this. Okay, AJ is an insect, and the impulse to squash him is natural. But you can't, okay? Because with Sonny and Jason, one's first impulse is usually wrong. You have got to use your head, and you have got to think things through. Follow the rules, and do not discuss their business, and don't repeat anything you hear, accidentally or otherwise. And I'm obviously still learning this, otherwise we wouldn't be in this situation. God, I feel like such an idiot. Right? Courtney, you're just new at it. That's all. I have loved Sonny for a very long time. And I still screwed things up by acting on impulse. It's the reason we weren't together when you first came to town. Just deal with this with Jason. What should I do? I cannot believe I'm saying this. You have to be honest with him, tell him the truth. Because it's your only option. Hello? Yeah, uh, things with Ida didn't go as planned. You had a problem getting in? No, I'm with Ida right now. Life with Sonny and Jason can be difficult. The rules, they seem simple, but they are almost impossible to follow. But fortunately, you're in luck because you have me and there is absolutely no way you are gonna make the mistakes that I have made. Yeah, well, when Jason finds out that I told AJ, they know that he paid Ida to lie. I mean, Jason's gonna be furious. Yeah, but he'll be more upset if you don't tell him yourself. You have to do it. I know it's going to be hard, but you have got to stand up and tell Jason yourself there's still a chance that Sonny and Jason might get to Ida before AJ does. The death sets her testimony in stone. It's not, that's not good for us. What do you make of the suicide theory? Well, she had plenty, plenty of money. No one said anything about a health problem. She was terrified of us, which indicates a desire to stay alive. So what, all of a sudden she, she hangs herself? I mean, if it is murder, it seems pretty professional. Alcazar was an arms dealer. He must have been at the top of a lot of people's hit list. Right. You know, maybe, maybe it was someone on Alcazar's side, one of his paid government lackeys, who, who's starting to get worried about all this exposure. Okay, so somebody kills Alcazar, <sighs> pays off Ida, right? To throw off the cops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then offs Ida to make it look like a suicide. What are the odds of the PCPD figuring that out? Well, with Scotty Baldwin leading the brigade, I think our odds are pretty good. I need you to make a list of the enemies that Alcazar had. And I'll find out what Brendan knows. He's wrong. Were you listening into a private conversation between two attorneys? You're damn right I was. Jason Morgan is a career criminal. Brenda's an innocent. Their futures are only as entwined as you allow them to you be. You know what? We shouldn't be having this conversation at all because it, it could be misconstrued. It could look like you're trying to influence an officer at the court. Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do, Alexis. I'm trying to get you to look out for your client's best interest. And Jason killed Alcazar, and he also killed Ida Warren. Brenda's never murdered anyone. Besides, Baldwin doesn't even want her. He wants Jason. So fine, let him have Jason. And forget about pretrial meetings with Jason's lawyer. Help Scott nail a bastard so Brenda can go free. 
Could they be free of murder or free of Sonny? Both. You all right? It's just, it's just a dream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, no one's gonna hurt you. Yes. It's after Jason, not Brenda. I know you're in love with Brenda, and I know that you would do anything to get her out of this, but I don't have that much time to get this case right, together, so you... Just make the jury believe that Jason killed Alcazar. Brenda, not Brenda will not go to jail for killing Alcazar, all right? Now let me do my job. But we'll see that you do. I'm not just talking to you as an attorney. I'm talking to you as a friend. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just... Things have been a little tense lately, you know? Well, we all are. I really appreciate what you're doing. You don't have anything to worry about, all right? Thanks. didn't. I have a bad feeling that Scott is going to find some way to convince this jury. It's not going to get that far. It's not going to get that How do you know that? Because the killer's still out there and I'm going to find him. In the meantime, you, I, you just need to stay calm and trust that I will take care of you. Alright. already lost four years to because I'm not going to let you lose Yeah, but can you explain to me how you're doing this? You realize... These people have an eyewitness who is she, saying that she dead. saw... Him. She's dead. What do you mean she's dead? Did this just happen? Was she, the, the woman who's saying they're that ruling, she saw me push Luis off the table? They're ruling it a suicide, but I don't buy it. Right. So, um... Was she murdered? So she couldn't testify against me? I think one of the Alcazar's associates killed her and Alcazar, and now they're setting you up and Jason. Right. What do you know about the Alcazar's business in Venezuela? Uh, I don't... I don't know much except for that he has a compound outside of Monaco. Did you go there? Yeah. Yeah, we went there a lot. Did you meet any of Alcazar's businesses? <laughs> no, just his staff. Uh, but there was people flying in and out a lot. Sometimes they'd stay there. I don't know if they were business associates. Uh, oh, that's 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 good. Yeah. I, 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 I'll take I'll take care of it. You have people out there? I'm I'm going there. Well, you can't. You're, you're going to skip bail. Yeah, that's that'll be, that'll be fine. No, you know if Scott finds out, well, he then he's going to put you in jail. What he's looking for? That's what he wants. You're going to do everything you can, so he doesn't find out. If you, you know, we never had this conversation. All, for all you know, I'm at home with my family. Blah 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 blah. Well, of course. Right. How long are you going to go for? Well, you know, as long as it takes. So, you take care of Jason, huh? Yeah. And uh, don't, don't 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 drive him crazy. <laughs> you're going to be careful, right? Don't stay for too long. You will not sacrifice Jason for Brenda. Are we clear? Please have my notepad back. 
Jason did not kill anyone. Jason never does. And what is that supposed to mean? My obligation is to my client. It is not to Jason Morgan. Oh, you and Jax are so smug and self-righteous. You think you can get away with anything. Carly, I have a lot of work to do. Oh, that's right. You have to work on framing Jason. Yeah, I heard every word. I heard Jax tell you to get Brenda acquitted by making Jason look guilty. And I am here to tell you that is not going to happen. This conversation is over. Oh, why? Because you say so? That's enough. Oh, I don't think so. Now, you pay attention. If you frame Jason, try and throw this case, I will completely dismantle your life, and Sonny will not lift a finger to help because he despises you. You do anything to Jason, and Sonny's gonna hate you more than I do. Sonny used to Loved Brenda before I ever knew him. And she wore a wire on him. And they broke up, and, you know, they kept going back and forth, fighting, you know, trying to get back together. She made him crazy. And not in a good way. And I guess he made her a little crazy, too. Well, are, are they still in love? No, Sonny loves Carly now. She's his family. They're happy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but Carly makes him better, and Brenda seems to tear him down. So, why does Sonny just, why doesn't he just stay away from Brenda? Well, because he needs to know that she's looked after, and that's why I married her. And now you're stuck with her. For now. And on trial for first degree murder. <sighs> now you do have to admit she is beautiful. Uh, not really compared to you. Ladies and gentlemen. You all right? No, I'm not. Because Alexis is trying to frame Jason. How do you know this? Because I overheard Jax asking her to do it, and she didn't exactly say no. And you know what? If she does this, and if she sells Jason out, Jason will, will nope. go to prison. Brenda Nobody's will... Nobody's going to prison. Jason and Brenda are not going to let Alexis pit them against each other. Well, maybe Jason won't. I'm taking but... care of it. How, Sonny? I gotta, go to, I gotta go to South America tonight. I think one of Alcazar's people killed him, and I, I, I gotta check it out. Okay, why do you think this all of a sudden? The eyewitness turned up dead. It's a very professional job. Alcazar has a lot of enemies. I think one of his associates killed him and Ida, so she wouldn't change her story. You can jump bail the... to do this? That's right. Sonny, I don't want you to do this. So if I can find out somebody else did this murder, Jason will walk away, so will Brenda. This whole thing will be over. Jason and I were in Alcazar's territory. We ended up in jail. Uh, we ended up getting shot at. Carly, I... Carly, it's going to be fine. I'll be fine. I'm telling you. Okay. But skipping out on bail, come on, Sonny. This doesn't make sense. If there was another way to do this, I, I, would. I would. I would do it. But there isn't. Sit down, okay? Sit down. You just step up here, okay? I need you to act like I'm around, work on your club. Don't let anybody suspect that I'm gone. And when are you gonna be back? As soon as I, as soon as I can prove that one of Alcazar's people killed him. And you think this is the best way to save Jason? I would not leave if, if I didn't think that. Can you do this? Huh? Yes. You're not, you're not gonna try to fix it? Or do something? No, I promise you. All right. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I can. And I will do whatever you need me to. I probably, you know, I, I won't be able to keep in touch. All right, then you need to promise you're going to be careful. Always. I'm not going to leave you waiting. Ever. I'll be here for you. All right. You I love you. I love you. Okay, always. And I'm not, and there, nothing's going to change that. All right. 
we're in this together. Hey. You okay? Yeah, um, I'm fine. Do you have a second? Yeah. You know, the uh, contractor was here working with the building inspectors, getting the cell up to code. Oh, he left his number. Just forget about it. Are, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to put my club here. I'm going to put it someplace else. Why? Because I wish I'd never found that old speakeasy. I just want to break that wall up again. Okay, Carly, what's really going on here? I just don't want history to repeat itself. Maybe you should tell me what's really going on, Carly. I have always thought that Jason was invincible and that Sonny would take care of everything. But now you don't? Ever since Brenda came back into town, she has set something in motion, and Jason and Sonny are just getting pulled deeper and deeper into it. Jason isn't worried. Jason doesn't show it. Carly, Jason knows that Sonny would never let him go to prison. Did Jason tell you? Sonny skipped bail. He is in South America right now, and he's trying to find the real killer. He thinks it's one of Alcazar's men. But if Sonny gets caught, he'll go to jail. I know. This is why I'm telling you, we need to act like he's still in town. I don't want you to make the mistake of saying anything. That's why I wanted you to know, okay? Yeah, okay. Well, we need to stick together on this. We will. But Carly, you've got to be strong, like you told me. <sighs> yeah, I know. Hey, live with the fear. Don't panic. Have faith. If Jason and Brenda are convicted, Sonny will blame himself. It's gonna kill him. Don't think that way. Well, I'm trying not to. But what if it's too late? What if nothing we do can stop what's gonna happen? Jason, you need to keep an eye on Alexis, okay? Carly overheard Jax ask her to throw the whole case just to... So you could take the blame. Ah, that's, that, that figures. Yeah. Well, that's not going to happen. Just... Well, as long as Brenda doesn't panic. Well, she will panic and do something stupid. But she won't testify against me. Okay, find out what you can about Ida. Yeah, the cops are crawling all over her place. But stay on that. Does Brenda know you're leaving? Yeah, I told her. I know you, th you think it's a bad idea. Uh, I just, you know, she could tell Jax and I got love. She's not going to tell Jax. Everyone. You trust her in your way, I trust her in mine. Take care of her. Keep her calm. She needs to lean on you, not me, if you know what I mean. I understand. Cardi's scared for you, scared for me. Now we gotta, you gotta be careful I'll, with that because if she get, does something crazy, no, just no, try I'll, to help. I'll you make, know sure, how that I'll make be. sure she's okay. All right, I got, Car's waiting downstairs. All right. And I'm gonna go through the kitchen. All right. Watch your back. Always. With any luck, I'll be able to prove who, who killed up is there. Jason and Brenda will get out of this. And Sonny will find the real killer. We have to believe that. I just wish that I hadn't broken down that wall in the cellar. And what does that have to do with Sonny and Jason? I know it sounds ridiculous, but something terrible happened down there. It, it was an old speakeasy in the 1920s. And on New Year's Eve, there was a shooting and a man was killed. Then a family fell apart and everyone's lives were ruined. Carly, that was a long time ago. How about if you, um, go down there with me? You can walk around and just tell me what you think. What do you think about English? Huh? Till Sunny Falls. That's right. We've been back. So, oops. There it is. There was a dance floor right here. And this guy, Joe, died on it. He was in love with a girl who was a lot like you. He worked for a mob boss, just like Jason works for Sonny. Who told you all this? This old lady who has lived across the street all these years. She showed up here on, on New Year's Eve. This was her place. She was married to a mob boss, Marco. They had a little boy. 
And the night that this place opened was the shooting. Their lives fell apart after that. Marco went to prison and she had to give her little boy up for adoption. I don't know, it's... Can't you feel like... I don't know, like an energy here, like... Someone's heart is breaking. Not really. It feels like something wonderful was supposed to happen here, and it just didn't. What if that's the point? That I should quit before I begin? I agree with you. No, 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 no. What if you've been given the chance to try again? To make things right? I think things work like that. Hey, who's there? Don't worry, it's just me. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to startle you. Elizabeth said you were down here. It's okay. Um, it... Courtney, do you know Rick? Oh, yeah, I've, I've served him dinner a few times. You're at the arraignment. You're Jason's lawyer. He's also doing some work with me on the club. Yes, but at the moment, I'm, uh, I'm looking for Sonny. He's not returning my phone calls. Well, he's got to be busy then. Oh. Excuse me. Sonny? Hey. Oh. Hey, Leticia. I thought it might be Sonny. Uh, no. Um, what's the matter? Is Michael okay? Yes, tell him I will be there shortly. Okay, bye. Okay, well, I have got to go be a mommy now. It's okay, I understand. <laughs> Rick, would you mind showing Courtney around the rest of the place? I would be very interested to see what you think. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Jack should try and keep your voices down. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sorry if we disturbed you. Yeah, well, the whole building probably heard that fight, and every minute that you spend with Jax, it hurts Jason. I know, you're right. Jax wants Alexis to frame Jason. He wants her to deliberately lie and manipulate the evidence. Did you know any of this? Nobody is going to frame Jason. They already are. What do you think Jax dreamed up that insanity stuff for? He is trying to scare you so that you will testify against Jason. That's not going to happen. Well, can you make a jury believe that Alcazar was still alive when you left that hotel well, room? Well, he was, so all I can do is just tell the truth. And that Jason wasn't in the room? He, he wasn't. He only helped you get out of the hotel? Yeah. God, I cannot believe you chased after him with a knife. I know. I know. I didn't kill him. Well, there are a whole bunch of witnesses that say you did. And if Scott Baldwin thinks that you did it, he thinks that Jason is guilty too. I already know all of this. Carly, what is it that you want? I want you to say that you're innocent. I don't want you to sound level-headed and rational, and I want you to make a jury believe you, because if they don't, then Jason is going to end up on death row. I always tell the truth. Well. Scott Baldwin doesn't give a damn about the truth. He's gonna twist whatever you say. Doesn't matter, because I also always protect the people that I love. Well, I hope that includes Jason. <sighs> no. What do you want? Do you know who I am? Who cares? You're Sonny Corinthus' wife. Yeah, you're Roscoe's widow. I saw you at Club 101 with Sammy Tagliati. What do you want? Just a look at the old place. That's all. Why? My grandmother used to own it. We're both under arrest.
I always wondered what this place would look like. Grandma never showed you around. No. My father told me about it. She had to give him up for adoption when he was just a little boy. All I know is that her name was Catherine. And that this place used to be a speakeasy. Do you know that? I've heard all kinds of stories. Yeah, yeah, my grandfather Marco, he owned it. Catherine ran the place, at least that was the plan. There was a big shootout the night it opened. My family lost everything they had in 30 seconds. Maybe less. You know they say this place is haunted? If you're out in the alleyway at night, you can hear dance music from the 20s. Never heard anything. And I don't believe in ghosts. Neither do I. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fate. That's what you gotta watch out for. I'll turn on you in a second. Uh, I told you he's busy. Busy or out of town. Carly, I need to know the truth. Sonny is working on a very important project right now. Rick, he may not be able to get back to you for a few days. Look, Jason has been charged with murder. Whatever Sonny may be doing can't be more important than this trial. It is. But you're not at liberty to tell me what that is. That's right. Carly, I'm at a critical juncture in Jason's defense. This can't wait. Well, it's going to have to. Well, maybe not. If you act on your husband's behalf... <laughs> no way. Carly, I need your help. Rick, I've been there. I've done that. It was a fiasco. No, Look, the answer is no. You and Sonny are the only two people who can influence Jason. Now, unless you do something right now, this murder trial could end very badly for him. Don't tell me that Scott has trumped up more phony evidence. No. The most compelling piece of evidence against Jason is Jason himself. He refuses to get up on the stand and say, I didn't do it. You're going to have to work around that. Carly, a judge can tell a jury that failure to testify is not an admission of guilt, and they will understand it intellectually. But in their hearts, a defendant's silence means that he has something to hide. <laughs> Jason has a lot to hide. He works for Sonny. No, the details of his job are immaterial. Oh, come on. Rick, you know that as soon as Scott gets to cross-examine Jason, he is going to pull out every bit of dirty laundry that he can. And Jason's going to have to answer, because he's been sworn to tell the truth. The whole truth, and yada, yada, yada. I, I can yada. protect him. Oh, how? By... By objecting to everything that isn't relevant to the case. Okay. Let's say that you do get Scott to back off. Jason's not going to play up to a jury. He can be coached to project a sympathetic, sincere, even law-abiding no, persona. Never I have had success with this sort of thing before. Yeah, but Jason is Jason. Okay, he is either going to tell you the truth, or he's going to sit on that witness stand, and he's going to stare at you and not yeah. say anything. No matter plotting and coaching and preaching and none of that is going to change it because Jason is going to be Jason. He's not going to do something he doesn't believe in. What if Sonny were to order him? You really need his testimony. Uh, to say that he didn't kill Alcazar? Yeah, I think so. And if he just plain refuses? He has to do it, Carly. It's a matter of life and death. His own. Hey. We need to talk. Well, uh, I'm on my way out right now. Well, it's a matter of life and death. Well, you look like you're alive, so maybe we can talk later. Jason, I listen to you whenever you tell me you think that I'm screwing up, right? Look, I don't have time for this right now, Carly. I feel this is really important for me to say that I think that you're being your own worst enemy here. Soon your life is going to be in the hands of a bunch of jurors who don't know you from a hole in the wall. And if you sit at that table and you don't say anything, Rick they could... Rick has been working you. He's smart. Jason, he went to an yeah. Ivy League school and he thinks that he can coach you on okay, the right things to you say. You know what? I don't trust all. Rick. I'm just going to tell you that right now, okay? I don't want him coaching me. I'm not going to testify. He's not going to train me or hypnotize me. Boy, okay. Who said anything about hypnotizing? Uh, Brenda decided to let herself be hypnotized. Oh, you're kidding. Why? Because she's Brenda and she does whatever she wants. And she's at the hospital right now. So is that where you're going now? No, it's not. 
Oh, Jason, I'm uh, glad you're here. We, um, we need to discuss Rick, something. you know what? When I say no, I mean no. Okay? And don't ever use Carly to get to me again. Well, thanks for trying. For the good it did. Look, I don't understand what his problem is. Does he want to be convicted? No, I think his problem is more personal. He doesn't like you or trust you. Well, if we all liked and trusted the people we worked with, nothing in this world would ever get done. Jason makes up his mind about something that's pretty much it. A tornado couldn't get him to budge. Mm, well, that's heartening. It's a fact. Jason's not going to testify. And it doesn't matter what you say, it's not going to change. He doesn't like you. And if you haven't noticed, Sonny doesn't either. You're just making my ego sore. <laughs> well, I like you, if it counts for anything. <laughs> well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Although it is completely self-serving because um, you're going to help me make my club become a fabulous success. But no matter how much money our club starts bringing in, I don't think Sonny's going to hire you. So if that's your ultimate goal, you know, I, really I will worry about the future when it comes. Besides, right now, between the club and Jason's defense, my plate's pretty full. I'm sure it is. Oh, speaking of which, I need to talk to Brenda. Um, do you have any idea how I can get a hold of her? Uh, she's at the hospital, getting hypnotized. Yeah, she thinks that uh, maybe it'll help her remember something about the night of Alcazar's murder. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Uh, Alexis Davis and I are supposed to be coordinating our defenses, and how can we do that if she's just going off on her own? Oh, God, you know better than to show up here. You know what? I came here to see Jason. Oh, a little brotherly get-together? I don't think so. Get out of here before I have you thrown out. It's such a pleasure, Carly. Really. You know, Jason's not home. Not like he'd see you anyway. Good point. Maybe it'd be better if you give him my message. I'll pass. I got a deal. Oh, really? Mm. Well, Jason doesn't trust you as far as he can spit, and neither do I. You trust him and depend on him? How would it make you feel if he ends up in prison, or worse? What's it to you, AJ? I can help Jason with the legal problems. Oh, sure. You, you've been so helpful so far. I'm willing to help clear Jason of the charges against him. Oh, in exchange for what? My wife. Jason's not interested in any deal you have to offer. You speak for Jason now? I guess somebody has to. What if the payoff is... Jason gets to walk away from this uh, Alcazar mass frame clear? Oh, are you... Willing to tell the police that you've been lying all this time about seeing Jason and Alcazar's I'm not the lying, night of the Carly. murder? It was Jason I saw him playing his day. He's just as guilty of killing Alcazar as Brenda is. I'm willing to change my story. All Jason has to do is stop this affair he's having or about to have with my wife. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sure you do. He's got a thing for my wife. It's right there for everyone to see. And I hate it. And you must, too. I know how possessive you are of Jason. You don't want him to have a lover. You want him to stay devoted to you. You know, it must make you feel like really special trailer trash, leading the two top mob guys around by their noses. Oh, is this supposed to make me want to deal with you? We can hate each other all we want, but every deal has a bottom line. And in this case, you and I both get what we want. So, this is the room Brenda was staying in when she was with Alcazar? This might help you remember a little bit. Here you go. Brenda and Senor Alcazar stayed here. They didn't have separate rooms. The Senor refused to be apart from her. Well, it looks like they were here yesterday. That was the Senor's strict instruction. It's the same on every property he owns. He always wanted Brenda to feel immediately at home, wherever they were. I'd like to take some time and look around, you know, alone. Yes, sir. And, and then I want to see Alcazar studies and any of the names of business associates who visited him here. I see what I can find. Adios.
think that I would jeopardize my relationship with Jason by convincing him to do anything for you? You are dumber than I thought. Not to mention the fact that Jason's not interested in Courtney. That is your paranoid little mind playing tricks on you again. You think so? Courtney is Sonny's sister. And for that reason alone, Jason would lay down his life for her. And this, um, affair that you've dreamed up between the two of them it is your twisted little uh, need to think that jason wants whatever you consider to be yours don't you ever bore yourself aj because you bore me i mean it's the same old games over and over again yeah there's different faces but there you are with the sick need to compete with your brother for some twisted little thrill i don't know what you do it aj because you always end up the big loser. I want you to remember this day. You had a chance to save Jason from a life in prison, and you threw it away just to get a couple of cheap shots at me. Oh, you're right. Maybe I did speak too soon. I, Courtney may want Jason after all, because I certainly wanted him the whole time I was married to you. That's because you're a slut. <laughs> you're gonna lose, AJ. Again. Don't count on it, Carly, babes. Bye. <laughs> Jax, why can't you learn to be discreet? You know what, Carly? Even if you and I were on speaking terms, I wouldn't be discussing this with you, so... Brenda! Brenda? All right. How'd your hypnosis session go? Um... Oh, you know, if you want to tell her. Actually, I remembered something. There was a guy in the hall right outside Luis's suite, right before Jason grabbed me. Well, did you give them a description? Kind of. I didn't see his face. What is it? Oh, my God. He had a shoulder holster. I can't even believe that I forgot this. He, he, he had a gun. How often did uh, Brenda and Alcazar stay here? I'm sorry, this is very difficult for me. I worked for Senor Casar for many years, and he was very generous to me. Yeah, well, he's also very dead, and you've been very well compensated to give me complete access of this house and answer my questions, no matter how uneasy they make you. Senor Casar came here three or four times a year. Sometimes he would stay for a few days, sometimes he would stay for a month. Did he have any visitors? Never. Only business associates that would fly in for business. To stay here as guests? Never. No, he didn't want anyone having contact with Brenda. When he would have his meetings, she would either go out shopping or stay in this room. He rarely introduced her to anyone. Well, it sounds like he, uh, kept her like a prisoner. No. He said Brenda needed special care because of her illness. Mm. Did you know her? Uh, not well, but she was always very polite to me. Did Brenda ever give the impression she was uh, afraid of Alcazar? Oh, no, not at all. Why should she be? Senora Casa treated Brenda like a queen. Anything she wanted, all she had to do was ask. If she was confused or upset, he stayed right by her side. How, how often was she confused or upset? Not very. I mean, for the most part, from what I could see, they were very happy. You are trespassing. That means you're going to be shot. He's dead. This man arrived saying he was sent by the senor's lady, Brenda Barrett. I'm glad you're here, Ward. Saves me a trip to the prison compound. You will be seeing the compound from a cell prior to your execution. 
Well, I understand that uh, you detained my wife and my business partner a few months ago. I, I assume you got your orders from Alcazar? Yes. Well, what of it? I think it was an unwise choice considering the fact that Alcazar is no longer with us. And you and me were a long way from home. Home is anywhere you, you, you have friends, isn't it? I got a couple friends here. You may even know them, actually. Pedro Sandoval, Humberto Morales. We're business partners. Uh, you're from America. I didn't realize. Yeah, well, now uh, you do. You got two choices, Warden. You could either stay loyal to a dead man and hope you run into him in the hereafter. Maybe he'll pat you on the head. Or you can make yourself useful to me right here on Earth. Go away from your outside. How can I be of service to you, Senor Corintos? I understand uh, one of the ways that you helped out Mr. Alcazar was by unofficially holding prisoners at his request. That is true. Occasionally, Alcazar would order someone released. Okay, I want you to give me whatever information you have on any prisoners that were released in the three months prior to Alcazar's death, and you bring it to me right here. Right away, senor. I was under the impression that you were on your way out when Brenda and I arrived. Really? Well, it's my corridor, and if I feel like walking it all night, I will. <laughs> well, then, damn, don't let me interrupt you. Oh, well, you know what? You're not going to go anywhere, because we have some things to discuss. If this is going to be yet another variation of the stay away from Brenda speech, I've heard it plenty. Well, obviously not enough, since here you stand. You know, I used to think that you were bright. Certainly bright enough not to buy into this party line. Haven't you figured out that this arrangement is for Sonny's purposes? It's designed to keep Brenda across the hall from him and me on the other side of town. Now, you can't be liking this arrangement any more than me. Yeah, well, you left out the most important part of the equation. See, I'm in Sonny's bed, all nice and legal, and you can't say the same. Keep up the charade until Brenda and Jason are acquitted, and then by all means, Take Brenda away, far, far away, and never come back. I mean, unless you want the love of your life to be um, killed by lethal injection. Hello. Hey, it's me. Is Jason there? He's not here. Um, I was hypnotized. Hypnotized? There was a guy in the hallway Dark hair, overcoat, he had a gun. Okay, that's a lead. I'll check it out when I get back. Where are you? You never believe this, but I'm in your, your old room with the gold bedspread and the view of the terrace. Do you find what you're looking for? I'm getting close. Were you, uh, were you ever really happy here? No. I miss my whole life. Well, now you got it back. Tell Jason I called, okay? All right, well, I will. Um, be careful. There's no picture here. None was ever taken. Okay, but well then how do you know the information in the file is correct? Man was imprisoned, then released, both on Alcázar's orders. No one cared what his real name was or where he came from. All right. Um, you can leave. Leave the file. Make yourself available if I ever need you again, okay? Of course, senor. Yeah. 
Is this the man you're asking about? I'll be damned. Just uh, seeing if this whole thing still works. With all that you've got going on, you have time to come down here and check the beauty? Yeah, well, you know, I got tired of working up in my room. It's quiet down here. Mm -hmm. If you say so. Listen, um, I'm kind of glad that you're here. Uh, first of all, I, I want to thank you for trying to help me with Jason. I have no idea what's going on in his mind. He doesn't trust you. Well, yeah, but I am his attorney. How can I get him acquitted if he won't listen to me? You move to plan B. Yeah, plan B. Well, plan B involves how much you really trust me. And for Jason's sake, I hope it's a lot. Carly, I need for you to be honest with me. I need for you to tell me if Sonny's broken his bail agreement and left the country. Tell me everything you know about this man, starting with his name. His name is Rick Lansing. Go on. Rick and I were lovers. He would visit Senor Alcázar, and when he was here, we would be together. He was wealthy, charming. He would fly in and out doing work for Senor Alcázar. Then one day, the Senor ordered Rick arrested. You know why? No. All I know is that Rick started hating Senor Alcázar. I would visit him secretly in jail, and all he thought about was getting revenge. When was he released? Not long before Senor Alcázar was killed. You think Rick killed Alcázar? I'm sure he did. When I heard Senor Alcázar had been murdered, I knew it was Rick who did it. Don't say what you think I, I want to hear. I need the truth. I'm telling you the truth. The whole time Rick was in jail, all he could talk about was escaping and getting revenge on Alcázar. But Alcázar ordered his release. Did you see Rick afterwards? Once. What did he tell you? That Senor Alcázar had released him and that he had to leave. He said there was something he must do. Something more important than anything. When he was finished, he promised he would come back for me. Did he say anything else? Only that he wanted revenge for what had been taken from him. Look, for Sonny to risk leaving the country now, I, I know it must be important, but if it's to help Jason, why can't you tell me? I know that you are set on impressing Sonny. It's why you're helping me with my club, why you offer to volunteer to defend Jason, but I'm going to tell you, nothing will alienate Sonny more than asking questions he's told you not to. These questions concern Jason's defense, and if there's any information, anything at all about this case out there, positive or negative, I need to know about it. And just for the record, Mrs. Corinthos, I am not, are you listening to me? I'm not helping you with your club to impress your husband. I am helping you because I believe in you. What are you doing here, huh? Why aren't you in bed? Because I want to show Leticia the secret room under Kelly's. Yeah, I told him that if he cleaned his room, we'd come give you a quick visit and say goodnight, and I would come and see the special secret room. Oh, okay. Well, you remember Mr. Lansing? He's helping me with my club. Hello. How are you doing? Good to see you. How are you? Same here. Good. <laughs> So, what do you think, huh? It's cool. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And really dirty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Let's let Mommy and Mr. Lansing get back to work, okay? Yeah. But you know what? I like the surprise because I get a good night kiss. I love you, sweetie. Sweet dream. When's Daddy coming home? Hey, you stay zipped up and warm and Leticia will put that hat on you. Thank you for coming and visiting. Welcome. Bye, Mama. Bye. 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 You know, it might be a good idea to keep Michael close until Sonny gets back. 
I think he's a little too young to understand that his father's breaking the law by jumping bail. You know, Sonny could get in a lot of trouble if he mentions it to the wrong okay, person. Okay, I don't need you telling me how to raise my son. Do you realize how big of a risk Sonny is taking? Why would he go away unless he had some sort of lead on Alcazar's murder? You have questions for Sonny? Ask him directly. Hello? Great to see you. Meet me at the Elm Street Pier in three hours and come along. on the phone hmm? oh just a uh, paralegal he's doing some work for me on the case he found a couple of precedents that could work and why do you look all weirded out huh? listen if something's going on with the case with no Jason, no 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 no, no 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 everything's fine everything's fine I, i'm just uh i'm just thinking about all the work that i have to do on the case you know hey look i may be flying blind but i like to walk into the room prepared you know come on you ready what about the fire it, it's fine come on it'll burn itself out I'm here on official business. Yeah, we accept to be announced. Okay, well, announce me. D.A. Baldwin. Ah. Hey, you want to be arrested? You don't have a warrant? Nope. Get out. I'm here to speak to your husband. Well, he's at work at his office. No, he's not there. I don't know what to tell you then. Oh, I think you do know what to tell me. It's just what you don't want to tell me, like the fact that he's jumped bail, skipped town, which makes him a fugitive. Welcome home. Yeah, yeah, it was a very interesting trip. Why didn't you mention that you knew Alcazar in South America? Why did you show up on my doorstep right after he jumped off that balcony? Huh? This wasn't about working for me. This was about hiding from the cops in plain sight. You killed Alcazar, didn't you? is not out of town. Well, he's not here. He's not at the office. Well, he must be out at a business meeting then. Oh, he's out all right. Out of Port Charles. Could be out of the USA. Sonny, can